Uh, welcome to the last session of uh, Streaming Marathon at the International Dance Day. So in this session, we will have Eric Zedan, uh, who is... Hi, Sinan, how are you? Like I am doing uh, great, and yourself? Pretty good, happy Dance Day. We, uh, we are just, you know, all the dancers, I wanna congratulate them first, they deserve it. Even that Thank with this so quarantine, or, but we send all the best thoughts, the best wishes for all of the dancers in the world. And Eric is the founder of the Kerubin Concert. So he is a very much established uh, impresario. And today we are going to talk about his experience. And we will also have Viktor Ischuk. So he is the founder of Ukraine, Ukrainian uh, classical ballet. He will be with us shortly. And we will have uh, the muscle and the brain of this project, the Streaming Marathon, the founder of Cook TV and artistic director of Balletistan, Sergei Nirvanich. Without him, uh, this streaming uh, would not be possible. So I would like to thank all the artists, all the dancers, uh, Cook TV, Sergei Nirvanich, and my assistant, uh, Idil, uh, she also contributed uh, a lot to the project. And of course, uh, like all the beautiful and talented artists that we have. So I am like very glad that we did uh, something nice and positive uh, and giving people inspiration in this uh, difficult times. Uh, thank you all. So, uh, Victor, uh, thank you for also joining to a uh, last session. So, uh, and Sergi. Uh, okay, and I think like Sergi will also join like shortly. I'm here, I'm here. Perfect. <laughs> Hello, Hello everyone. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, Later, first with Victor and then with me in the end, okay? That uh, sounds good. Uh, let me start with uh, Eric. Like, would you like tell us? Uh, how did you uh, decide to become an impresario? Well, it was a long time ago. By, con by you know, mis you know, like I never thought that I was going to be an impresario, especially uh, never thought that I was going to be like ballet impresario, classical ballet, you know. But um, by some uh, twist of your life, then um, I was at that time. Um, I was working in a TV station. Uh, I was the uh, sales manager of a TV station. And um, all of a sudden, one of the empresarios that time uh, had some problems with, with some shows and I, and, and I got into this because I was kind of like the, the channel, the TV station was the sponsorship of, uh, of these shows. So, but this, this empresario did, did, didn't, he had some problems, it was during the war time in my country. So all of a sudden I, I was handling the show for him because he was kidnapped. So, so <laughs> that's how I became um, uh, entertainment uh, business empresario, you know? But I- story. <laughs> And, and, and actually, actually, you know, and that time it was 1989, 1988, 1989. Uh, the roster of, of this empresario had two shows coming on. One of the shows was the Kiev Ballet, actually, was a gala of the Kiev Ballet. So I decided to 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 try this uh, this show, but it was canceled at that time because, you know, I was new, I didn't know what to do. And the other the other show that was um, on the list, on the schedule, was the little little boys from Vienna, the, the choir, the little boys from Vienna, the singing boys uh, choir. So I did it. I did it, uh, and, and we did okay, and I like the business, and, and then I move on, and that's how 
I got into this uh, beautiful, beautiful um, business, which I, I, I really enjoyed and I really like very much. And like, can you like tell us about your like past projects, at ballet and other uh, concert projects? Like, what did you do uh, See, since I, you started the business? Yeah, I'm, I have done basically lots of shows during and the last 25 years. Uh, you know, we did. I I do some jazz. I do some classic rock, Latin music. Latin artist, uh, but I, I am most concentrating now in um, ballet. You know, this is what I do most. Basically, twice a year or three times a year, we do some tour tours um, with Victor and Sergey. Sergey, you know, Kiev ballet and, and dancers from Ukraine. I have done also other shows, dancing shows like. Uh, Um, the Georgians, the Sukishvili uh, National Georgian Ballet. Uh, we also do some touring with the amazing uh, children from Georgia. The, the the this group for of the children. We have done also a, a lot of tours with uh, Russian ballets. Uh, I do know. I do. I do a lot. Uh, uh, also, some I work with uh, cultural festivals. Especially in Mexico, where we do other kinds of uh, productions like uh, world music, like Goran Bergovic. We did. Uh, we were going to do this in a week ago. We we were supposed to be in Mexico with uh, Sush Sushero from Italy. So in those festivals, we do not only dancing uh, projects. But we do also jazz, world music, rock. Uh, I do also rock when they, when they demanded, when they requested. I have like a, a small uh, independent booking agency, so I, I have done quite a lot. You know, I've uh, been around for many years, so we do different kinds. But mostly, you know, my 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 like. Uh, What I feel the best, you know, and doing is ballet. It's what it it's, uh, makes me more comfortable to do it. Um, and um, we love to work with the same people all the time. You know, we we tour we tour a lot in China every year. Um, in Latin America, it's kind of special right now, but uh, we do we do a lot of touring in China. Uh, So, you know, like China has been like 10 years, right? China has been a quite uh, interesting uh, market for ballet, you know, because uh, uh, we've been touring uh, in China for the last nine years. Nine years. We actually went there in the middle of this uh, pandemic. You know, we were, we were in China uh, and we returned, people returned to Kiev to Ukraine uh, on the, in January something 11, 12. So we were, we were right there, you know, we were. And we basically, we always go to Wuhan, you know, a beautiful, beautiful city. And uh, we, we always go to Wuhan, but for, for some reason this time we didn't go. You know, but last Luckily. year we went to Wuhan. Um, I'm sure that everybody remembers this, you know, we were in Wuhan and uh, Victor was with me. Sergey was with me, um, so we we know the experience, but we didn't know anything about the uh, disease while we were in China. We knew after, but uh, Sergey Sergey says that uh, we probably have the virus already, so we are kind of like immune to this uh, <laughs> disease. I hope so, you know. That's why, like nobody is like wearing like any mask uh, today. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Like we feel more confident. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think you already answered a little bit, but uh, let me emphasize uh, that. I mean, uh, how do you compare ballet projects with with the rest of the projects? I mean, uh, like how are the artists and the, like audience compared to? I don't know. Well, you know, 
Ballet, it's a, it's a very special uh, dance, you know. Uh, it's, it's more like a um, way of life, you know, because I, I dance have... Dance of the Kings. Huh? A dance of the Kings, initially. Yeah. It's, um, um, it is a very special feel, you know, a very special discipline. And um, every time I see the people rehearsing, every time I work um, with uh, ballet dancers, solis, corps de ballet, you know, I can, see, I can see the discipline that all these boys and girls have and how serious they take this discipline, you know, and um, it's, um, it's hard, especially touring, it's very hard because you have to move on all the time and every, every day it's a new stage, a new theater, um, different conditions, uh, weather conditions, uh, so it's tough. It's, it's, it's not an easy, easy thing to do when you're touring. So um, the discipline that these people have, you know, the, the, the boys and girls that do this for living or, or for fun or whatever, but uh, it's a really tough job. I, I really respect them as um, people who really wants to do uh, this discipline for their lives. And considering the ballet, it's a short life uh, feel, you know, that people have only 20 years or 25 years, you know, it's, it it's makes it more harder because, you know, ballet dancer is a short um, uh, career, you know, short uh, timing on their life so they can dance. But uh, comparing with other dances, you know, I think that this is more demanding because uh, folk dances, which are uh, folklorical dancers, uh, other dances like tango or, or flamenco are different, you know. It's, it's more, uh, it's another thing, you know, in the dance field. It's... Uh, well, today, like I had an interview with like many artists, and I remember asking the question about the challenges of like being a dancer, and I think all of them answered like this: like this is my life. I don't see it as a challenge. So that was the answer. So this is like how dedicated uh, ballet uh, dancers are. Yeah, they really uh, they have this big uh, commitment. You know, to to their to their to their discipline, to the ballet discipline. So it's a great, it's a really huge commitment that they have to um, they have to do during their lifetime. You know, uh, the girls and boys, of course, and 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 those that uh, makes it uh, to the solist or first solist or principals. It's even a, a great, a great commitment because it's uh, you have to practice every day, you have to do class every day. You cannot be sitting there like we, you know, that behind the scenes. They, these people are basically they're uh, rehearsing, even in quarantine, like uh, today. You know, they are keeping in shape. I have seen uh, some videos all over the world of how their life are being uh, now with this quarantine that we have so they are they have to keep rehearsing you know every day every single day they have to do that so it's it's not it's not easy for them to do this so so i really respect them and i consider them very uh very responsible about their way of life including mm -hmm. this like here comes my next question about the secret of being in Persaria. So about, you are about, like communicating with the artist and the artists have a different mindset. This is my own personal experience as well. Like what is the secret of... Like, it depends, you know, it depends because I mean, uh, we, 
I am very open to 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 work with uh, artists, uh, and we in 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 some in some way we become friends. We become partners. We become uh, good good close friends. You know, so it is easy for me to work with, especially ballet artists. Uh, it's it's not a it's not difficult for me to deal with them because uh, I am the kind of empresario that if we tour for a long time for one month or forty five days uh, we do the same thing you know I I stay with them all the way I always being with them we eat the same food we take the same buses, we take the same planes, we live in the same hotels, we do it together. So it's, uh, it's something that I like to do, not only for them, but only for my, for, for the, the promoters, you know, because when we tour, we have different promoters. We tour in, in Latin America, in each city in Mexico, we have different promoters. If we go to Brazil, we have, different promoters. If we go to Argentina, we have some difficult, uh, other promoters. And especially in China, in each city, we have different promoters. So for me, it's like, uh, I am like like the, the person that takes care of the artists, that um, I take care of them in, in the way of the, the you know, the, the, the requests that we have, that they have, like hotels, like per diems, like, breakfast like buses and i also take care of the promoter so so i am in the middle of 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 the promoter and and, and the artist but it's 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 nice I, I really enjoy it you know and the people who work with me the people with the tour with us in 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 every country you they know that and, and we became we, we become friends more than a business relation we become friends so mm -hmm. It's nice. Of course, think, you know. Uh, I think like we are lucky also to work with uh, not great dancers, but also great people, like the yeah, Ukrainian like I dancers mean, that like yes, we are working yes. with. I mean, I, I've been uh, I've been blessed because I mean, most of the people that I meet every every year, um, it's you know we became friends. We we communicate. We we we. Uh, we're still communicating with all of them, uh, and they're beautiful people. You know, they're very humble people, very uh, nice people. You know, uh, and we 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 develop a relationship, not only a business relation. And I always I always uh, try to bring the same people, but even the new ones, you know, becomes good friends. You know, and it's always nice to work with them again. So it's it's really nice, you know. It's a it's it's a really nice uh, it's a really nice uh, environment that we create all together. You know, of course, I understand that some 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 dancers are more like uh, not not that communicated with like others, but uh, you know, the, the different the different. But you know, I I really don't have any problem to to. With them, I, I have some other problems with uh, other artists, you know, especially um, much popular artists like the rock rock singers or, or Latin Latin uh, uh, artists that are more like uh, divas, you know. Uh, but I don't find this in the in the ballet in the ballet um, world. I always find a nice people, well educated people, you know. Um, and what I like the most is that uh, you know we establish a nice relations with them. Yeah, right. So like I've been kind of in the business like for a year, and I can tell like stories for like hours. In your case, like you have experience of like twenty five years. So like, can you like tell us like what was the most interesting like funny thing that has happened on the tour? Well, we 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 have. Nice stories, and we have not the good ones too, you know. Because sometimes we we find not 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 uh, with the artists, 
but uh, with the empresarios, with the promoters. Some promoters are better than others. Some promoters lie. Some promoters don't give you enough. Uh, they, they, they always uh, fail in um, accomplish all the, all the things, you know. So we, we, have, we, we have had some troubles in some, uh, in some countries or we have been having, uh, but we also have good times. Um, we we share good good uh, experience. We laugh, but sometimes you know it gets hard. That especially when it becomes uh, because in this business you know you have to work. Um, you can put everything everything you want in the contract. For example, you can put all all the things in the contract. But once once you're there, uh, once you get to the venue or you get to the theater uh, and there is no money for example to to cover all the expenses then it becomes a problem but we are already there so it's um it's it's really hard when when you have like a 40 people touring with a ballet corps de ballet principals and we have to cover all the expenses and 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 they don't pay us so that becomes a really, and we had that experience. Like, you, know, you can ask yeah. some of them. You can ask Victor. You can ask Sergey. We've been in Argentina, and in Argentina we suffer a lot. Uh, we didn't have good, good, uh, good empresarios there. You know, to 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 do this. We have done some uh, other tours in, in in Mexico, and also we have been always fighting with money and conditions hotels and but you know the thing is that um, we try to solve these problems you know and that's the beauty of it you know that we even of the lack of money we always go on and we do the jobs as we we expected to do it uh, and at the end you know I think that everybody becomes happy about it you know but those are the basically the things that uh, really hard of of this uh, business, especially mm -hmm. with the big tours. You know, like uh, we don't have that problems in China. We have a very responsible and very clean people in China that covers everything. So we in China we don't get those problems. China, it's uh, even that many people can consider China as a difficult market for us. It's been uh, it's been really nice. So, so we never had problems with uh, Chinese promoters. You know, we always take care of everything. They take care of everything. And um, can you like tell us about the scale of the project? Like, how many artists? Like, do you take to China? How many cities? How many days? Well, uh, we've done uh, like we do always a month because. Um, they don't allow us to stay more time in China. So we always um, do like a one month, 30 days. Uh, we start around middle of, like in the, between the 10, 12 of December until 10, 12 of January. And we, for, the, for example, we have visited in China. We have been in like in 75 cities in China. Wow. So uh, maybe more, you know, we've been uh, south, north, east, west, China, you know, so we travel a lot in China. Uh, and we, we basically do like 20 shows in a month, in the 30 days period. Sometimes we do 22, sometimes 20, and sometimes we do 18. How Something many productions like, like do you take like in one tour? Uh, we for the last three years we started we started with the with only one production. We was the, the the Swan Lake. Then we are the Nutcracker. We toured with the Swan Lake for almost I think four or five years. No, four four years. Then only with Swan Lake. Um, and then we uh, add the Nutcracker. 
did not crack her. Uh, and we toured with the then after the five years we toured with Nutcracker and the Swan Lake, but uh, lately we had the the Sleeping Beauty also, and I think it was last year the, the two uh, we did a we did a, a tour with Don Quixote. We did a small tour in China, Don Quixote. But uh, we usually take three productions with us: Swan Lake, Nutcracker, and and um, Sleeping Beauty. So, like among the tours that you have, like which audience uh, would you say that the greatest fan, like the greatest turnout, sold out seats? Yeah, in some cities, uh, is some... it China or uh, would you also compare like other countries? Uh, in terms of the attraction well, to the ballet, you know, Chinese likes ballet. You know, uh, I was surprised that uh, in China they really like ballet, and um, they they really they really uh, like uh, also to teach ballet. You know, the, you, you, there are so many schools of ballet. There are so many children that girls, especially, that study uh, ballet. And we have been in many in many schools, so they really like this discipline, you know, for the children in China. So it's a very common to see Chinese girls in the theater. You know, the the mothers and fathers of these children takes them to the theater so you see them with their with their children on the theaters which is not that common in latin america for example right uh you don't see much children uh like in china for example so it's kind of uh nice that these people are developing this taste good taste for uh, appreciating what's ballet about. So exactly. in some way, you know, Chinese are ahead, ahead of, 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 the, um, of the way of looking at ball, uh, ball, uh, classical ballet, you know, than mo most of the countries. In of course, uh, East Asia, in terms of the like art history, I mean, uh, Japan and like Korea are also coming strong. I mean, yeah, if you look at they, the, like top companies in the world. I mean, you would see yeah. many like Japanese and Korean dancers right now. Yeah, yes, that uh, Japan. You know, Japan has a large market. Uh, it's it's uh, it's very common to see all the great ballets coming to 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 Japan and also to Korea. So. Uh, you know they they really like it. You know they they really like classical music. They're they're uh, very um, they have high standards of uh, quality shows in, in in these countries, especially with ballet. You know, I know that they go they go every year. They tour like three times a year in Japan. That they 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 do big big um, big concerts in Japan and. Dancers all over the world comes to Japan to dance, and South Korea too. You know, so this is the way that China is also developing in this uh, big, big, um, bigger companies come to China every year. So, you no, know, they they tour there. You know, Marinsky Theater tours there. You know, Bolshoi Theater tours there. Uh, Kiev Ballet uh, and other and, and a lot of other groups from Russia tours every year. Usually when we come to China, there are about uh, seven companies touring, seven to eight companies touring at the same time. And wow. they they all doing the same, you know, Swan Lake, Nutcracker, Sleeping Beauty. So we we are one of the companies very, we, we have, you know, with Kia Ballet, we have a very respectable audience and uh, but we find 
other other Russian Russian companies touring touring in China at, at the same time. So it's getting it's getting big. It's getting big, you know. And, and China China is a big market, you know. There are I mean, there are a lot of venues. There are a lot of theaters. Every year they build theaters, you know. They in big theaters, you know, nice theaters, modern theaters, you know. Sometimes we we're surprised that you know in in the middle of China there is a beautiful modern art theater, you know, with uh, really nice conditions, light, sound, uh, stage. Uh, so it is a surprise that you know we we find really nice venues and really nice art centers in China and there are i mean you can tour you can tour one one whole year without being in the same theater every day so you you, you can tour every day in a different theater that's, that's quite amazing for wow. china yeah, it's, it's, it's amazingly like big market and also yeah. a very strong economy i mean they can build like a theater like in a year i mean they're also extremely quick like building up stuff yeah and uh, the government really you know because most of the theaters belongs to to this to the province or to the their state theaters you know they belong to the to the to the provinces or to the cities and they invest on um, not only not only on on their their own uh, companies you know their, their own artist companies but they also invest in, in culture. Like, you know, they like to bring new things to their cities. So each director or each uh, uh, manager of the theater has the responsibility of bringing artists from outside. So they invest in uh, foreign cultures. And ballets probably Ballet and classical music are probably the two investments they do every year to to um, let the people know that there are uh, groups, uh, companies that uh, can you know you can learn about it you know so it's yeah. a it's a it's a big task that they they do you know so. I think that they only do it in China. I don't think that they do it everywhere. Only in China, the the the, the provinces, the stage, the cities invest in bringing companies from outside. Yeah. Uh, I have a similar experience in Turkey. The uh, uh, the best like theaters are owned by the municipalities, at either like district municipality or metropolitan municipality in Istanbul. So, uh, so far, like the projects that I did was uh, with the collaboration of the municipality. So, like, if yeah. they kind of uh, agree on the international, like, cultural aspect of the project, they can easily, like, host you, and even uh, you can get uh, financial contribution. Yeah, well, when, when, when you find this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, budgets from the cities or from the municipalities or from the provinces then uh it's it's more easy to to do it to to do our job because i mean you know that these people really are investing in culture which is uh it should be part of the of the uh way of living of the people you know uh, governments governments should invest in culture you know, because it's a part of the education of the people, you know, to, you know, to learn, to provide culture and education. So I think that that's, uh, I mean, it should be a responsibility of any, any government, whether it is city government or, you know, country government. So they should invest in more culture. It's the, only way, it's, it's the only way to, to, 
as long as as long as we have educated people around the world, this the world will be much better. So I, that's what I believe. Yeah, can we also get like Sergi to the stream? Pardon me. Uh, I think like Sergi would like to join. Okay. Yeah. Hi guys. Hey, nice. nice to see you again. Nirbanich. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm here with you guys. So let me like uh, say thank you, like for two of you. You are a great impresario, both of you, and that we have possibility to make this conversation and people can see how it goes from general, uh, from inside of the business. And thank you, Eric, that you agree for this interview also. Thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you, Eric. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah, and uh, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, happy World Dance Day for everybody. Yeah, and I don't know. Uh, you want to talk about something with me or we will uh, like just say bye to our viewers? Uh, like I want, like I did my acknowledgement in the beginning, but I want to like repeat. I mean, uh, Sagi, it was a fantastic streaming project. And, like you did everything. So thank you for like, everything that you did. And, like bringing all the beautiful artists and impresarios uh, together. For me, it was a like, great honor to be like part of the project. Yeah, thank you, Sergei. You know, it, it's a really nice, it's a really nice project. It's the first time I go on stream, live stream. I never been, never been on stream. But uh, mm -hmm. I really, I appreciate you inviting. Yeah, a technical side, I suppose it was not easy. Like nine hour straight streaming. I mean, that's like, and with five different countries. Yeah, but we did it. Uh, cooperation, international cooperation is the main thing now in uh, terms of coronavirus. So everybody stays home and we can cooperate with friends uh, through the streams. So we can talk a little bit and we can give some, I don't know, new knowledge to students. They can watch our ballet classes. They can make bar with us, with artists and have like new experience and free master class. Why not? Five master classes today. Five classes, five master classes today for free. And uh, I want to thank you all the artists who participate today in the stream. Of thank you all of you guys. It was amazing. And I hope we will uh, have other projects on streaming with the artists and not just with that artist that we see today, but with other also. Uh, and. Uh, I hope our uh, viewers will follow uh, Balletistan and Coolstream on Facebook and they will keep updated with our news. Uh, and, like the end of the uh, Casablanca movie. Uh, yeah. I think it is the beginning of a new and beautiful friendship. Just the beginning. Yeah. So uh, maybe uh, Eric, once again, thank you so much. Oh, for... thank you. I just want to congratulate every every dancer in the world, especially you know, especially the Ukrainian dancers. <laughs> and a big, a big, a big hug to all, all our good friends uh, in in Ukraine. You know, so uh, have 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 a really nice day. Keep safe. Don't get sick. Be home. And, and 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 let's see you soon. I hope this will end soon so we can meet together again. I so hope so. Much. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you everybody. And see you soon. Um, let's give like a big hand to ourselves and like all the artists participated today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, friend. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.